Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well. As you can see from the screen, the today's topic is something regarding the project ideas or concepts in biotechnology field for both undergraduate as well as the postgraduate programs. You know, it's always very difficult to find the right project in biotechnology unless until you are a very academic person. Because of that, we will end up working in different projects or some models project or old concepts. avoid such kind of scenario i have explained some of unique or innovative project streams or area that you can perform in your undergraduate or postgraduate program sure then we will go into the video okay let me just give a overview of three major streams of biotechnology for a project as per my understanding ideally people will not separate the stream like this but i found it very useful You can further deep, deep dive into the streams and select your own project more technically. Firstly, firstly we have genetic engineering, a very wide sector where you can work on DNA, novel molecules, or synthesis of new molecules, or metabolic or metabolic engineering. But it requires higher skill set and proper infrastructure to do such kind of project. Next, we have something called biomaterials or energy. So this is a combination or integration of biotech with other uh, streams of engineering so which is uh, gives the uh, hybrid materials such as uh, microbial fuel cell mfc or disensitized solar cell or biosensor and so on this is a very emerging field where you can find an alternative or a unique thought process to perform the project finally we have the bioprocess engineering which comprises of all the design economics production in lower scale as well as higher scale uh, from projects from upstream as well as downstream etc so in further slides i'll explain more detail about this genetic engineering biomaterials as well as the bioprocess engineering here we go uh, this slide focuses mainly on genetic or molecular engineering uh, the field which one can uh, do their project on so these are some of the projects like uh, synthesis of novel molecules either you can choose insulin uh, monoclonal antibody or vaccines or erythropoietin or n number of uh, molecules are there you can do a r&d on that particular molecule based on the requirement or you can use this uh, genetically modifying techniques such as our dna technology to produce a genetically modified organism as well as genetically modified product you can work on this gene therapy or you can work on the metabolic engineering concepts or metabolic flux analysis like uh, you can take a manufacturing process and you can uh, segregate it in segregate it and work only on a focused area such as metabolic engineering or gene therapy or uh, try to work on improving the product yield or strain selection or something like that so these are all which is related to genetic as well as the molecular based works uh here i have not given much of the details because uh, genetic engineering is a very wide concept even you may also find the n number of uh, ideas in uh, when you start searching in the internet because my expertise in this field is very less now coming to the biomaterial science so biomaterial science or energy is a very innovative field and uh, i strongly suggest you guys to have a look into this field most importantly i did my ug project in this very specific field in a section sector called the disensitized solar cell so as mentioned here there are multiple project topics over here like microbial fuel cell or second one disensitized solar cell or you can do a project on artificial photosynthesis or hybridization of dsc and fuel cell or a nanoparticles application or bioelectronics or biosensors so let me show you a simple picture pictorial representation so here this is a simple representation of a microbial fuel cell where your uh, substrates will be get converted into a electricity in the cathode side you can uh, generate a molecule so based on the configuration that you are choosing this will act as a microbial fuel cell or also a hydrogen fuel cell then we have disensitized solar cell so this is a simple representation of disensitized solar cell where you will use a dye and a, a photo anode to generate the electricity so this dye you can use either as a natural source as well as a, the microorganism based dye so that's how this disensitized solar cell works then we have artificial photosynthesis which is a mimic of a artificially existing process so which means uh, to convert to sunlight and carbon dioxide into water and uh, biomolecule 
then we have hybridization of this dsc and the fuel cell so which is a combination of disensitized solar cell or microwave fuel cell to artificial photosynthesis then we have nanoparticle synthesis so nanoparticle not nanoparticle synthesis it's a nanoparticle application so after synthesizing the nanoparticle how you can apply it either you can chemically synthesize a nanoparticle and you, play, you can apply it in a biotechnology application then we have bioelectronics and biosensors so these both fields like bioelectronics and biosensors you can apply a nanoparticle for the efficient yield or improving the technology something like a pregnancy test kit or a glucometer or a wearable technology something like that so the advantages of using such kind of projects are doing some this kind of projects is like you will end up with a working model as a proof which you can further develop and commercialize so this is one of the very major advantages of selecting such kind of project so whatever i said now which is a glimpse or a, it's a, a very rough overview of this uh, uh, biomaterial section so in this you can either design this like uh, design the new product or you can optimize the existing one for better yield like you can take a existing microbial fuel cell or you can uh, copy a process from someone and you can optimize it or you can manufacture your own microbial fuel cell or any of this like biosensors or bioelectronics or something like that so which you can further commercialize or develop in your further projects or in your ug programs and you can focus on such kind of uh, disciplines only so by doing project in biomaterials or energy in these sectors you can also understand some of the concepts in electronics and also in uh, material sciences as well the mechatronics or mechanical engineering also so this will widen up your knowledge and you will have a huge curiosity in doing such projects too now coming to the bioprocess engineering which is my favorite subject during my engineering uh, i have always so uh, very fascinated to read or uh, study about uh, bioprocess engineering and it has huge open concepts projects so here like i mentioned like there is a concept called media optimization or you can do a project on kls studies or reactor design or modeling or economics or process plant design or production of molecules purification methods energetics or economics scale up studies or you can do a project on a modeling software such as matlab or super pro designer or you can do a biogas production or application of microbes so in all these things you can uh, either design it or you can do a manufacture it or you can do a r&d on that so here there is a simple picture like this is a snap of a super pro designer if you do a modeling of process like you can keep the blocks of vessels and you can do the mass and the energy balance of that particular uh, process or you can manufacture a product like a, any product like it can be from a different raw material or you can uh, uh, take a waste water and you can provide a or manufacture a product like that there are n number of concepts so initially uh, this is the wide concept that we can discuss in a single video that's why even i can discuss a separate video on only media optimization because media optimization if we start discussing on that we have a response surface methodology or a, uh, like uh, there are different uh, methodologies or techniques to do the media optimization like packet bomb and uh, uh, so uh, it's not a like this is just a glimpse what i'm giving like you can either do a project on media optimization or you can do a project on kla studies and now kla can be improved by different techniques or you can manufacture reactor or design a reactor also or you can do a modeling or economics of a process or you can uh, so like that there are different uh, streams or projects in to the bioprocess engineering so initially what i will recommend or uh, suggest anyone is to find out their area of interest to do their own project because believe me it's very important that your project is in your area of interest that will give you the curiosity to learn or uh, new techniques and also it will always give you a pride too that's what i emphasize in this complete video thank you i hope this video would have given some sort of understanding regarding the project ideas I know I have not given the detailed explanation about each and every topic because my objective here is to make you select your own project but still if you guys need any support please contact me through my email id thank you all for watching this video feel free to write to me for further queries or requirement of any ideas thank you